This is a Coin 6 News breaking news alert. And we are following breaking news at four, a live look as protesters are still at PSU after Portland police cleared out the library. I'm Jenny Hansen. And I'm Todd Unger. People were inside there for about two and a half days. They've been protesting for longer than that, protesting the war in Gaza. Finally, as chaos ensued this morning, Portland police tell us they arrested 12 people. Police tell us four of them are PSU students. It is unclear about the others at this hour. We're still working to confirm their identities. And we have team coverage tonight following those rising tensions, the damage and mm -hmm. the response from officials. We want to start with Joelle Jones live from PSU with a look at that current situation. Joelle, you have been there all day. How is it looking now compared to hours ago? Well, Jenny Todd, tensions are certainly rising. We did see police severely push back protesters up until then. It was relatively peaceful. And as they push protesters back down Southwest Hall, there is a car that reportedly drove up into the protests. Some people told me they were incredibly scared and allegedly that driver got out of the vehicle and sprayed bear spray or mace, something of that sort, into protesters' eyes. They then took complete control of this car. As you can see, it is now destroyed. But I do want to mention we that gentleman, whoever he is, fled the scene, leaving the car here. And we did see as police pushed against that line, police arrest or detain at least four individuals, sometimes four officers to a protester hauling them off. They say that the South Park blocks are now officially closed and this protest has moved back considerably. And right now, like I said, tensions are very high. As you can see the video that we captured earlier today, officers getting into a scuffle with those protesters. We captured at least two um, pretty violent confrontations with police on that front line as they pushed them back. We also heard from protesters on the ground who said that they are scared about the fact that police arrived in riot gear. But as as we mentioned, it seems like the, the South Park blocks are now completely closed. They want everyone out of this area. They continue to make that message loud and clear over the loudspeakers. And we will track this closely. But for now, like I said, tensions are heated up and protesters tell me they're not going anywhere. Yeah, Joelle, I know when we talked to a few hours ago, you really were getting a sense there on campus that there were a lot more students today. I'm not sure. Can you tell behind me or behind you, are those mostly students or what are you hearing from people? Right now, we are seeing, again, a mix of students and community members. They say they are united in this cause, and they are pro-Palestine, hoping that the, the PSU administration will divest in those companies that are involved in the war in Gaza. So right now, it is a mix, Todd. Earlier, we saw a lot more students participating. But again, like I said, we are seeing more numbers out here in the Southwest Park blocks, even though they have pushed back this protest at this hour. Okay, Joelle, thank you.